might not have been the first gay chorus in the country, but we probably were the first chorus in the country that were fully accessible with a sign language interpreter. So to keep that tradition on is, is very meaningful to me. Every performance gets me excited. The, putting the story of the chorus into another language and the, the process of, of taking English and putting that into ASL, I enjoy. And then the performance. I do enjoy performing with the chorus. They are a world-class organization and I try my best to make sure that my interpretations are up to their level to make sure that the deaf audience is getting the same quality that the hearing audience is getting. The, the chorus itself has always been a warm, welcoming group of people that have become my family. Uh, the friendships that I've had have, have lasted through decades. The, the camaraderie, the love, the feeling that you have in this organization is like no other I've ever felt. I've made lifelong friends. I've met my husband in the chorus. We just celebrated our 25th year together. Um, so it really ha has meant a lot for me. As far as performance goes, it, it still gets me excited to, to be on the stage with the chorus. When we finished our performance in Denver, we came out of the hall, the chorus gathered around me, um, and then I was presented with a certificate that said I was an honorary member. The person who was presenting it gave me gave a little history of my work with the chorus, um, and I was taken aback. I did not expect that. It was truly a surprise um, and an honor and something that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.